we have the LG G2 Mini. It's the little brother, or rather I like to think of it as the little sister, to the flagship LG G2, which was launched last year. Unlike the flagship, it's actually a mid-range phone with a slightly lower specification. So when we compare it to the full-size G2, obviously it's a bit smaller. It has a 4.7 inch screen rather than a 5.2 inch screen. The processor has also been downgraded, um, so now this is running a 1.2 gigahertz quad-core processor rather than a 2.2 gigahertz quad-core processor. And the camera has also been downgraded as well, so you had a 13 megapixel camera on the previous one and you have an 8 megapixel camera on this one. But there are some advantages. It has an all been scaled back and you know made into a mini version. Actually, the back of this is something, it's not a sealed unit. So you can take the back off, you can add in more memory, and if you need to, you can also change the battery. As you would expect with a mini version, it has shrunk in size. So rather than having a 5.2 inch screen, you've actually got a 4.7 inch screen here. Just like its bigger brother, it has kept the buttons on the back. So here you can control the power and also turn the volume up and down. There's a bit of a Marmite feature. Some people love it, some people hate it. I actually find it quite useful because when I'm holding it in my hand, my fingers just naturally rest there. So I think it's quite useful. And as I said, it's got a 4.7 inch screen, which I actually think is quite big for a mini version. If I'm holding it in one hand, my thumb can't reach across. But Overall, it doesn't look too big. I think the nice slim bezel still makes it feel quite compact overall. This really just represents LG following suit with all the other phone manufacturers such as Sony, HTC and Samsung, which have all released mini versions of their flagship phones. One main benefit of doing this is that it comes with a lower price tag. We don't actually have the price confirmed yet, but the bigger version is £400 and we expect it to be a bit cheaper than that. So for more on this, for the affordable Nokia X range and for all our coverage of Mobile World Congress, click on the links below.